Hey guys, it's Sophie from Sophie's Slime Store. Thank you so much for ordering my DIY Deluxe Slime Kit. I'm sure you're going to have great fun making it because I had a great time designing it. So in this deluxe kit, you get to make six slimes. You get to make four white slimes and two clear slimes. So let's see what's inside. So inside, we have an apron. Then we have instructions on how to make your slime. Instructions on how to care for your slime. And a business card. So when it gets to the slime ingredient, so here we have our clear glue. And then we have our big white glue. Then we have four pots of our extras that we're going to make our slime with. So we have the little fruit pieces. Then we have foam balls. Then we have beads. And then we have some snow. So, next we have our activator, then we have our hand lotion which makes it stretchy, then we have our bicarb, and then we have our glitter and our pigment. And the last thing in here are all of our containers, so let's get started. Okay, so the first slime that we're going to be making is the clear one. Make sure you do the clear one first because then it will be easy to use the bicarb for the light blue slime. So, the first step that you do is you get your bowl and make sure you have a tray or a table that can have slime on it because if you don't, you'll probably get slime everywhere and that is not a good thing. And then you need a spoon also. So all you're gonna do is it's really easy to actually make the slime. You take your glue and you're going to dump it in your bowl. So it might take a while for your glue to actually get out. The next ingredient that we're going to put in is our bicarb. Now we're not going to add all of this. With clear glue, you only need a tiny little bit so that it doesn't get too hard. So you need about two pinches, two little pinches. That's it. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna stir that all together really, really slowly. Okay, so now you've stirred that little bit of bicarb in, we're gonna put two more little pinches. Make sure they're little, because if they're big, then you end up with a hard slime. And then you're gonna stir that all together. Okay, so once you've stirred, make sure you don't stir too vigorously or too hard because then you'll end up with a really, really bubbly slime and you don't really want that. You want it to be quite transparent with a couple of little bubbles. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to take our contact solution. You're just going to open that up and you're going to squirt some in and then mix it in. So... Once that's all mixed in, all you're going to do is you're going to keep on adding little squirts at a time and you're going to keep on stirring. And then I'll come back when I'm finished. Okie dokie. So, when you're making slime, make sure to not put too much contact solution in. You only need that much. If you put more than that, and if you add like a lot at a time, your slime will go hard. So you just need to add little squirt by squirt, mix it in. Add a little bit more and then mix it in. Okay, so after you've added a lot of contact solution into it, it should form a ball like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to get all the slime off the side so you have a lot of slime. And then you're going to add a bit more and you're going to try and get it all off your spoon. So what I'm doing now is I'm just adding contact solution in and playing with it. And then once it's like adapted to your hands a little bit, 
can take it out onto your platter. Okay, so now I've got it out on my platter. I'm going to add some more and I'm going to knead it in. And this might take a long time because it might stick all over your hands, but that is okay. Okie dokie, so this is the clear slime. This took me about 20 minutes, so you need to be really patient because with clear slime, it's really fiddly. So it gets really sticky on your fingers because we are, it didn't add too much bicarb. But make sure you don't add too much bicarb because then it'll go hard. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put it into our containers. So you need two containers because we're making two clear slimes. You're going to two containers and two lids and you're going to separate them. Now we're probably going to have a bit too much, but that is okay. Make sure your slime isn't too like hard. Make sure it's a bit sticky because of the things that we're adding to them. That's one. Probably going to have a lot left over actually. And that is two. Now with the leftover slime, you can put it in like one of your own containers or like a plastic bag or something. Okay, so the next step is we're actually going to color the slime and make it exciting. So what you're going to need is your two tubes. We have one glitter and one pigment. So it depends on which one you want to make first. I'm going to make the glitter first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my slimes and open it up, take it out, and then all I'm going to do with this one is add all of my glitter into it. So now we're just going to mix it in. Now you're going to add some contact solution because remember how I said it needs to be a bit sticky? That's good because now you can get the texture that you want. So if you want it a bit harder and a bit like putty-like, you add a lot of contact solution, and if you want it really sticky and stretchy, then you only add a little bit. So we're just going to keep on adding it until we get it to the texture that we like. Okay, so once you've got the texture that you like, I like the texture of being really stretchy and a bit sticky. So I'm going to keep it like this. Remember, if you want it to be a bit more putty-like, and you want it to be like hard, then you add a lot more. So this is the finished product of my slime. It's super pretty and it looks like a mermaid. So, what you do with clear slimes is to make it like transparent, like super clear, you have to leave it and not touch it for at least, well it depends. If your slime is hard and you want it to be like a putty, you need to leave it for a lot longer. And if it's sticky like this, it won't take as long to clear up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my container and I'm not going to touch it for about four days for, for this one. So I'm going to put it in. I'm not going to touch it for four days so it clears up. Okay, so the next slime that we're making is our pigment slime. This is the pigment. So all you're going to do, like the last one, you're going to take your slime out and you're going to add your pigment. So now we're just going to mix it in. Okay, so this is my final product. Like I said with the last one, you can have different textures. So remember a lot of um, contact solution if you want it a bit harder or if you want it a bit sticky and stretchy like mine, you add a little bit. So this is my finished product. It's super, super stretchy and it's super shiny too. So I'm gonna leave this one for four days as well so that it goes really clear and it goes super shiny when it's clear. So let's move on to the white slime. Okay, so for the next slime, we're using the white glue, the big one. And obviously it's white, that's how you can tell. So what you need for this one is the glue, the bicarb, the hand lotion, and your activator. So the first step 
is add all of your glue into your bowl and this might take a while too. Okay, so once you've added all of your glue in, you're going to add all of your bicarb in, or the rest of it. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, next thing, you're going to add your hand lotion. So, I reckon we're going to put 15 pumps in. 15. You know what? Let's add 10 more. <laughs> okay, that should be enough. So, what you're going to do now is just mix that all together. Okie dokie. So once that's all mixed together, it is optional, but if you want, you can add shaving cream to it. I'm not going to for this one, but if you have shaving cream at home, you can add that in. Shaving gel works as well, or shaving foam, or hair mousse, or foaming hand wash. So now what we're going to do is we're going to activate it. Just like before, make sure you don't add too much at a time. Only add a little bit. Okay, so once your slime, once you've added a whole bunch of contact solution in and mixed it, it should form a bowl like a ball in the middle of the bowl. So what you're going to do, like before, you're going to try and take as much of the slime off the sides of the bowl as you can. And then you're going to take it out. And now you're going to get all of it off the spoon. And then you're going to play with it. And some contact solution. Play with it. Now, your slime might be a bit tough because of all the bicarb we add. If you like it like this, totally leave it. That's totally up to you. But personally, I like mine to be really stretchy. So I'm gonna add some more lotion. Lotion is the substance that makes your slime stretchy. So I'm gonna add probably 10 pumps. I'm gonna add 10 more. Okay, let's mix that all together. This might make your slime a bit sloppy and sticky. But I promise you, it'll come together in the end. Okay, so our slime is really, really thick and really stretchy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to separate it. So we have our four containers here and we're going to separate it. Remember, if you ever fall behind in this video, you can totally pause it. Okay, so now that we have our four slimes, we also have our four pots. So the first slime that we're going to be making is this one. So this is the foam slime, the big and little rainbow foam balls. So all you're going to do is going to take your slime out and add all of your foam balls in and then you're going to knead that all together. Okay, so this is the final product of our slime. It's really thick and really stretchy. So you're going to put it into your container now. And it's probably not going to fit back into your container because of all the foam balls we added. So we're going to take... A little bit out so that it can fit and make sure it can shut because if your container can't shut then your slime will dry up and go hard so with this you can just put this maybe put it in here and leave it for later and you can make a slime smoothie so you can add all of your leftover slimes into one container so the next one that we'll be making is the crunchy slime so you're going to take your slime out and add all of your beads in Now with this one, you might want it to be a bit sticky so that all the beads add in. So to make it sticky, I'm going to add some more lotion. Okay, so we've got the pump working and we have some lotion in here. <laughs> and we're going to mix that all together. Okay, so this is the final product. I'm going to put it into our container. And then make sure with any slime that have things in them, Play with them really slowly because as you can see the beads might pop out a bit. So we're going to shut that. And we're going to put this into this slime. So you have mini slime smoothie. Okay, so the next slime that we'll be making is the snow slime. So this is the shiny artificial snow. I'm going to be adding that all in. Just 
just mixing that all in. Okay, so this is the finished product of the little fruit piece slime. It's really, really cute. So cute. So we're going to add it back into our container. This one fits too. And sadly, that is the end of making our slime. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slimes, including this mini slime smoothie that we made. So we're going to put them in our little carry bag so that we don't lose them and so that you don't get slime all over your mum's new rug. So, gonna add all of them in and it's really, really cute. And yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed making your slime as much as I did. And make sure to subscribe because we are doing a gigantic giveaway when we hit 5,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away three of these kits and that's a lot so if you want one make sure to subscribe and yeah bye